I'm browning some ground beef for a taco mac and cheese. When you're browning your beef, y'all, let it sear and then flip it over and let the other side sear before you start breaking it up. So once that has seared on both sides, then I take the mix and chop spatula and just break that meat up so the inside of the meat can cook as well. I'm gonna be adding some garlic seasoning and if y'all ever have seasonings that clump up in your jars, don't use it over your hot dishes. That steam can cause your um, seasonings to clump up. So put your lid aside and let it cool before you put it back on your jar. The mix and chop spatula you can use to scoop and it also has drain holes. So I get a lot of questions on our can opener. This little button you would think goes on the top, but it doesn't, it goes on the side of the can. And as you start turning, it will attach to the can. You just keep going around and around and you will feel as you make your turn all the way around the can that it releases. Turn it counterclockwise and that lets it go. This button on the side operates that claw. So then you squeeze that button and lift up the lid right off the can. So now I'm gonna pour my tomato sauce in my beef mixture. And the next thing is everything taco seasoning. We love this seasoning, y'all. It is delicious and I could eat it on just about anything. So I'm just gonna give that a stir and let that seasoning and tomato sauce come together and flavor that meat. I'm gonna let it simmer for a little bit. Then I'm gonna add in some hot water Pour that in, and next I'll use the largest of our Easy Read measuring cups. This is one fourth cup all the way up to four cups. Again, you can read the measure marks from above, minus my shadow you can see as I'm pouring in this milk. I need two and a half cups. I'm almost there, up oh, a little bit more, there we go. So now I'll pour the milk in the beef mixture as well, and then I'll be pouring in one pound box of elbow macaroni. I guess you could use any shape you want, but I like the elbow for mac and cheese here. So then I put the lid on it and gonna let it come to a boil while I shred my cheese. The cut and store container is another of my favorites. This inside of the lid is a cutting board and it keeps your cheese nice and fresh. I'm gonna use the double grater to grate my cheese. And I tell you all the time to please quit buying the bag cheese and grate your own. And if you ever start doing it yourself, you'll understand why I always tell you that. So I've got it just about all done. And this stores flat if you want it to, or you can pull it apart, of course, for cleaning and pull it apart to use them separately. Just look at that cheese. You just don't get that kind of cheese in a bag, y'all. So the flexible cutting mat makes it easy to funnel into my cup so I can make sure I got the right amount and I was right on the money. So the cheese is there and y'all got a new grandbaby. <laughs> he has laid on my feet while I've shredded the cheese. So now it has boiled, so I'm gonna take the lid off and reduce the temperature and let it simmer for about eight or 10 minutes or just long enough for your pasta to get soft. I literally moved, what, two feet? and he's right back on my feet again. <laughs> All right, my sauce is thickened, so now I'm just going to sprinkle that cheese on top. The pan is still hot and the beef mixture is still hot. I have cut the burner off, but I'm gonna let it sit there with the lid on until the cheese melts. It's all done and y'all just look. Oh, it looks delicious. So I'll scoop some out so you can see it a little bit better. And again, you just don't get that kind of good looking cheese from those bags. Doesn't it look amazing? It makes a lot. And it's the best of both worlds. Taco flavor and mac and cheese. Oh yeah, any day for me. Even our picky eaters love it. It's delicious and I hope a recipe that you'll try.